What is going on guys? My name is Nicholas and welcome to America's Cheapest Family. Another episode of Extreme Cheapskates. I mean, another episode. I haven't done any of this so far, so I guess it's the first one. So before we begin this challenge, I must ask you guys to subscribe if you are a fan of videos like this, reaction videos. So yeah, let's do the video. Let's watch the video, man. Okay, playing the kids pool. The house looks pretty big, actually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they do that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They wash their... Yeah, sure. And are you gonna dip in the pool after that? Come on. I'm O'Brien. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're America's, America's cheapest family. And you're proud of that? Fuck off. Making it rain. In the summertime, when the kids... Making it rain. Kids are playing. Uh. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we gonna become millionaires off of it? You sure or not? Who wants bacon? I do. I do. Sean and I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't. Okay. So. What? What does that have to do with the bacon? You buy bacon once a year? And we'll make use with what we have. That's our lifestyle. That's our. How do you have a bacon? You you need to go to buy bacon. Our way. Our pots and pans broke. The handles broke off, and instead. <laughs> I haven't realized that. <laughs> Come on, dude, that's that's not that that expensive. Oh my god. Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle. He made that. You buy that, dude. It's a tool. Can improvements to their home. Wait. Wait a moment, are they eating... Oh no. <laughs> I thought they were eating on paper instead of... Uh, instead of uh, plates. Improvements to their home. The kid doesn't even know how to eat. My god. This is where we spend most of our time, in the living room. Which is empty. And very small for a living room, but okay. It doesn't have to be very big. And of course, they don't have a TV. What is that? That's a... Uh, uh, fireplace, I guess, and no TV, so they are playing kids games, I guess. As you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. Living room furniture can cost up to ten, twenty thousand dollars, depending. What? Where? <laughs> Where does it cost that much? What the fuck? Are you? What's in my hair? My God, are you buying furniture of gold? What? Depending on what kind you're buying. Um, ours costs maybe 50 bucks. A few months ago, our shower head broke and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. Remember the, <laughs> the soda bottle? He... It's a great way to fix it. Rigged it. And they have... What is that shower? They uh, have temperatures there? What the fuck? I don't have that. To the shower head? I just have a normal shower, I guess. And I don't use that. That thing. <laughs> oh no. we have a brand new shower head. This kind of is an eyesore, but it... Dude, it's it's really exp it's not expensive. That thing you can buy it in a China shop for I don't know, uh, two dollars I guess, two three dollars, I think, <laughs> something like that. I think it all depends on the person's perspective. No, it doesn't. No, it, it's definitely extreme. I I don't care. Yeah, here's the yard. It's pretty. Pretty nice, better than the house. Okay. Um, I'm gonna lie. Watch your step, apparently. Yeah. Our fence is a little piecemealed together. So I just replace the boards as. Oh, yeah. As they come. Leans a little, but. Sturdy. <laughs> it's definitely. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Very nice, dude. Oof. It's definitely not sturdy, but okay. Have to repaint the fence. I mean, if not replaced. Yeah. Uh, how much Oof, no! Ah! No! No way! Nah! Mm -mm. Forget the selling it. Selling the house. Nah. Nah. I can't paint that. It's expensive. Dude, it's, it's 10 bucks or tw 20 bucks. So it's too much. Around 1800 bucks. The fence in the backyard. What is. What? Yard is definitely eclectic. The colors look like a marble cake that you would get at a bakery. It brings character to the neighborhood. And the kickboard at the bottom, that's probably holding the whole fence. 
Dude, dude, you have no idea what are you doing. Together. It's not even in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be a little bit closer to the bottom. I'm not adverse to making some changes. Uh, yeah, you have no idea what are you doing. But dude. everything has to be taken consideration with budgets and cost. What budget? You probably don't work anywhere. So, of course, you don't have a budget, dude. This is our uh, main living room. Hmm. I mean, you've got to have furniture here. Period. <gasps> what? <laughs> People use furniture in 21st century. How dare the you? The actual living room and a house is very important because that's where the majority... Yeah, you definitely have to replace a lot of things. A lot of things to be able to do that, you know? To be, to be able to sell it. So they are gonna change the carpet, I guess. They're gonna buy the new one. Uh, in something like this piece of carpet here, we'd probably be looking at about a $4,000 budget. $4,000. My god, that, that is expensive, ain't gonna lie. But... You know, they live in USA, the US, so I guess that's not that expensive. What literally is the cheapest that you could help me out with? The guy's like, what? <laughs> Probably thousand dollars. We could get into some carpet of, uh, in this range here, it's a little mm -hmm. more cost effective system. And we would be looking at a budget closer to around 1800 to 2000 <laughs> Yeah, also this guy looks like feel, feel, uh... I feel Heath. I feel uh, the flex tape guy. <laughs> I mean, right, so what I'm really just kind of looking for about a hundred bucks. Um, let's say I just want to do sections. Uh, you know, a, a burnt stain here, <laughs> maybe some wax on the floor there, type of thing. Some red um, wine there. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> the guy is so freaking shocked. <laughs> patch up carpet. <laughs> I mean, I got to tell you, of? it really is unheard of. I, I've never heard such thing. Yeah, I definitely don't want it to be horrific, but is there a way to get something like this? Literally that yeah. size and that? Yeah, maybe, I, maybe about that size. Are you stupid? Get something like this? Literally that yeah. size and that? Yeah, maybe, I, maybe about ten would be good. I, sure, that would definitely be a first. We can take a look. Okay, uh, let's take a look and see what we can work out. Sure. You know, we've seen all types of My God. customers over the years in our business. I've never had anyone ask me for samples. All right, here's our sample room. You guys can take a look. So, they want to buy samples? Oh, my God. Look around, God. see if you find anything you think will work. What do you think on uh, us purchasing? He's <laughs> not feeling it. Uh, guys, I don't know. How about, uh, how about 20? We'll do $20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the twenty dollars. Okay. I appreciate. It. Thank you. All right. <laughs> do you have a? What are you going to do with that? Oh no! What? What are you going to do with that? More to your left. Got it. What? Did they just take the couch of the neighbor's house? What? Can you stop for a minute? Of course. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? She called to stop because she is tired. <laughs> he drops it first instead of holding the weight until she drops it. Oh my god. Rather than hire professionals to replace. Yeah, you're gonna do it yourself, of course, but you have no clue what you're doing, dude. Tax down their $2 samples himself. All right. Oh, it doesn't match. Hey. Well, Doesn't match. Oh no. Also, where is your other shoe, dude? What are you doing? Well, it looks pretty like much e legit. No. Even, but the carpet is totally different color. No shit. I mean, you I did a great, like you did a great job, but it just doesn't match. Right. We knew it wasn't gonna hundred percent match. Weird. Also, those shoes are definitely new shoes. You ain't gonna lie that those shoes are ten years old. They are definitely not. They're definitely not, so shut the fuck up. This is this is all fake. Look at that. The handle's broke. Yeah, it's broke. People who are different are always gonna be what? called weird because I do it in a different way. But you're really extreme. You're extreme of, of extremes. The extreme cheapskates are gonna say 
God, you are really extreme. And somebody else. You're gonna do this every time you go to the bathroom? Yeah. The good news is we're in Texas and Dallas. Sure. We're in a good market. There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna look at it and say, I like it. Like it. Nice to meet you guys. Have a great night. I think the happy. Nobody is going to buy that house. Period. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So that was the the extreme cheapskies, America's cheapest family, which probably is not true, but okay, still doesn't matter. It was pretty entertaining. So if you enjoyed it, please smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching. I must say goodbye for now. See ya!